great. How are you? Thank you. Uh, good very to good. Be Thank here. you, Ervin Rafael, the new head of uh, um, Genesis Motors yes. America, yes. or what's the official name? Because everything is new. So I apologize. Everything is new. <laughs> I apologize so for not knowing the official name yet. Yeah. So we're just Genesis. We're a division of Hyundai Motor America. Completely new brand. Uh, separate business operation. Yes. Uh, completely new car to start with. Huh? Absolutely. We're excited. We have two new cars we're starting with now. Yeah. So this G90 is totally new from the ground up. Yeah. So let's go on and uh, for a little drive okay. here. Uh, we're here in this beautiful, is really beautiful, beautiful. Wow. Uh, British Columbia, Canada, and like what a place to come and try this new car. As you can probably have heard, I mean, the car started and so much quiet, so much like silence. Yeah. It's just like <laughs> I think that's one of the new new parameters for luxury now like quietness relaxed especially right? in this class customers yeah. want really quiet and you know what Javier this car is the quietest the most quiet in this class well I have to say I have to uh, I mean I don't have the official numbers for that but I can tell you we're driving uh, from Vancouver to here and uh, we we're going probably 85 yeah. 90 miles an hour don't tell anybody not tell that <laughs> Hope you didn't Canadian get in police, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it was so quiet, so relaxing, so so nice uh, combination of, of everything. I mean, sure. like the powertrain, the amenities in the car, but especially the quietness. So th there's been a lot of engineering, obviously, to a put lot this car of together. engineering and the quietness and the stiffness of the body. So when you move, the car just feels like it moves with you. It's as one human and car moving together as one. So again, a completely new everything for this car, including every single part for this car, and that's going to be the case for every other car that uh, Genesis is going to be introducing in the next few years, right? So this car does have the 5-liter engine yeah. that's carried over and was shared with the Hyundai Genesis and was also shared with the Equus. That's the only part that's the same. Yeah. The platform is completely new, the transmission is new, but most importantly, most of these cars, maybe 80% or more, will come with the all new 3.3 liter twin turbo electronically controlled uh, turbo engine, which is completely new. Um, launching a new brand, I mean, it's something yeah. that not happen, doesn't happen every, every no. day. No. So, I mean, very few have actually launched in the past. Yes. In this century, actually, yes. probably Tesla. This is number two. Yeah, Tesla yeah, and you Tesla. guys, right? Yes. Uh, so, I mean, you obviously had a good foundation, good. Uh, support from the uh, Hyundai, Hyundai in Korea yes but you're also lining up a pretty impressive uh, group of people to put together these products we have to we have to when we when we decided to launch this brand first of all I was so humbled that I was selected to lead this brand but I immediately started looking for the best people with luxury experience but most importantly with an open mind with confidence who are willing to take on a big challenge. So we found some people inside of Hyundai, but we found some people from the outside. So we pulled together an amazing team uh, over about a three month period, a leadership team. That's quick. And they're pulling That's their, quick. Yeah, they're pulling their teams together. Yeah, like people coming from other brands like Lamborghini, Bentley, because you are aiming high with this brand. I mean, you're like yes. want to compete with the very best and everything, right? Yes. So, so at the global level, uh, that team, we brought people from Bentley and Lamborghini and Audi and those types of brands because we wanted the best of the best. So they came to us at the global level and they're leading a brand globally. Here in North America, we have people here with experience we brought from Lexus and other brands who have been successful launching a luxury brand, although it was quite a few years ago. So besides those challenges of like financial challenges, I'm sure, I mean, you have the support, but it's not easy to launch a, a car brand um, and like all the engineering that is done and all that. I think the audience has also become more aware of luxury because everything is luxury today. Starbucks is luxury yes. coffee. I mean, iPhone Actually, is a luxury is. phone. So everything, people are expecting more and more and more, even from the regular brands like Hyundai. I mean, you see some of their cars, yes. I mean, uh, like or Kia, for example, also from Korea you see the cadenza and it's like a really beautiful car. So the expectation for luxury is getting higher and higher. So how are you gonna differentiate uh, your brand with uh, to attract new customers? Sure, so the, the product expectation you're right is continuing to improve. 
uh, and that's something that we're very well aware of. But we think we have a little bit of an advantage because uh, our parent company was already doing such a great job in bringing products to the market with great quality, great materials, great reliability. So that gave us a good platform from which to launch. But the other thing, you mentioned Starbucks and iPhone. Yeah. Great companies, I really admire them. But part of their appeal is the connection that people feel, the personalized experience, yeah. the fact that with a Starbucks, you don't have to wait in line. You can use your app and order your Starbucks in advance and you arrive there, you just pick it up. But you still get the great Starbucks experience. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so those experiences, that type of concept is what we're bringing to Genesis brand as well. So what are some of the examples that, that, that are, are, I heard about, for example, the concierge yes. process, which is like something really amazing because another aspect of luxury, it's time yes. and like convenience. I mean, like you don't want to waste your time and like doing things that you don't want to do. So yeah. the concierge thing is it's something really impressive what, what, from what I heard. So it's interesting because the reality is we're getting more and more busy, aren't you? I mean, we're all getting incredibly busy. We need like busy. 48 hours a yeah. day. Yeah, so late. we don't have enough time. Yeah. So there's two things we focus on is how do we make sure that we that the customer doesn't feel like their time is wasted, that's number one, but also when they do spend time with us, that their time is fulfilling. And so you mentioned uh, valet, so for service for example, nobody wants to get up on Saturday morning <laughs> to drive 20 or 30 minutes to a dealership to wait an hour or more to get uh, yeah. their car service and drive back. And it's as much Saturday. as you can schedule all those things, there's something Absolutely. that goes wrong. Absolutely. And, like you, and, and then there's everybody's there on Saturday, right? Because yeah, everybody has the same problem. So what we are affording in Genesis, the customer, we're affording them the ability to schedule a valet offline. They can even use an app, just like Starbucks, yeah. you mentioned. And they can schedule their service. So a couple of things happen. The reason Saturday is so busy is because that's when people have time. They don't have to work. Yeah. But now you can schedule on Tuesday. Somebody can come to your office and pick up the car and leave an a, owner. Or maybe when you go out on a trip. Or when you go on a trip or wherever, it doesn't matter. Yeah. They can come pick it up and leave you a loaner. When they're finished, you, maybe you're someplace else. They can drop your car off there and take care of it for you. So you get all of your time back, which is amazing. Yeah. And that's what's happening with uh, every luxury brand. They're, everybody's trying to come up with some new ideas on how to interact because product is fantastic I don't think there's a bad car in the industry nowadays I mean nobody can afford to yeah. put a bad yeah. car on, this, on the market and so there's like little details and experiences that that make uh, the difference and so that's great and by the way that uh, valet service it's included yeah. there's no extra cost oh, wow. and the maintenance is included no extra cost three years uh, included also I mean I saw the Maruni yeah uh, like included like you probably spend a lot of ink put it in yes, so yes, many yes, times exactly. because everything is included because, it's amazing you know things like you talk about the services but even the map when you have to update your map yeah. it takes such a long time and you have to pay so that's included as well the connected services that's also included the roadside assistance all of those things are included. and the safety technology all of the fundamental safety the advanced safety all of it include more than any other brand in America standard and uh, I guess you haven't uh, announced pricing for this car, but uh, based on the Echo's price that is disappearing, by the way, right? Like the Echo's is gone now? So Hyundai is no longer making yeah. luxury cars. So Hyundai is mass volume. Genesis is making luxury cars. But that car was about 61? Around yeah, that, right? Echo's I think was in the low 60s. Yeah. So, I mean, again, you're going to be competing with the Mercedes-Benz and the Audis and the BMWs. But based and don't on forget the Lexus. Lexus, yeah. <laughs> they make great cars. Maybe, too. I mean, I guess Infiniti doesn't have a car that converts to Infinity the size. Infiniti does as well. Yes. Um, and maybe so Acura. So there are many others. Yeah, so Jaguar, there, so, there are many But uh, um, competitive wise, I mean, like price wise, I mean, uh, you're going to follow the philosophy that Hyundai has done in the past here in the States. Like adding a lot of value for the money, right? Like people, I'm, I'm well, guessing that's going to be the. We certainly, we certainly hope and we think that customers will look at these cars. You're driving it. What do you think? I mean, it's, it's an amazing car. package. I mean, like when yeah. you consider the, everything that is included, and like if I was going to be in the market for this kind of car, I guess this is a very interesting segment because at this level, when people are willing to spend that amount of money, yeah, they think of options, but if you already include them, I mean, it's like makes it easier for it everybody. Makes it, it makes because it very easy. At this level, everybody wants everything. Yes, it makes it very easy. So in the next two to three weeks, 
we'll publicly announce the price. But the bottom line is, we're more focused on the product and the services and the quality of those so that the customers really recognize that. And they will think no matter what the price is, they will think it was a great value. So speaking about like pricing and all this kind of thing, since so much is included, I mean, what, what is left for people to pick? Uh, you can pick your colors, interior and exterior. <laughs> well, oh, well, I hope. <laughs> you can pick uh, all-wheel drive. All of the cars, by the way, have all-wheel drive capability. Yeah. So you can pick all-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive. You can choose your engine, a V8, or you can choose the, the V6 3.3 liter twin turbo. That's that's really so it. So this is the V the V6 with this a, is the how V6. many horsepower? So this V6 has 365 horsepower. Yeah, which we test uh, tested it on the on the way in. And like for example here we got in a hill up. Yes. I mean this is more than it's, enough power for this no car. No problem. Drive it heavier. Yeah, the car and, can and take you it. can exactly. <laughs> I mean that's this yeah. is a big car and it can really yeah. take her to really. Like the steering is really precise and everything, and then you have like the modes. Where are they yes. here? So we have smart sport mode, eco. Uh, eco, individual, and smart. So in this road, I think sports is uh, adequate. For sport it. is adequate. Individual yeah. is kind of cool because you can set your own individual characteristics for each dimension. But I really like smart because smart looks at how you're driving the car. Yeah and it optimizes all of the settings and the car controls for you. We saw at the New York Auto Show a concept car. Yes, and what was the, the New York name? Concept. The New York Concept. Yeah. I mean, that car was stunning. So obviously that's giving us uh, guidance of what we're gonna see, like some light of what we're gonna see in the yes. future. So the plan is to have like six cars, six models by 2020? Or by 2021, we'll have 21? six models. By yeah. 2021, we'll have six models. This is the G90. Yeah. And then there's a G80, which will be a little bit smaller. It's the same class as a BMW 5 Series, yeah. right? A BMW a Mercedes E-Class. Then uh, in about a year and a half, we'll launch a G70. Think of it like a BMW 3 Series, Mercedes uh, C-Class, that type of thing. Okay. And then we have two SUVs. One SUV we built on the, on the G70 platform. Another one we've built on the G80 platform. And then finally, a really cool sports car. Oh, that, that <laughs> would be something. Yeah. If this car drives uh, like this, yeah. I just can't wait to. A high to performance drive that sports one. coupe. We have a great team working on it. It's crazy. It's going to be something else. Well, I mean, like, congratulations first of like successful launch of this car already. I mean, like, this car is on sale. Oh, no, it's not on sale because you haven't announced the price, obviously. <laughs> it will be on, will sale be on sale in dealerships in the month of September. September. And they like you're gonna be pretty busy there for the next five years. I yes, mean, yes, at least. Yeah, I, after five years, maybe I can get a vacation. <laughs> yeah. So Genesis is gonna launch. Uh, it's launching here in the state. Oh, we already launched in Korea, obviously, right? Already launched in Korea. And then it's gonna launch, starting sales in September here in the U.S. The G90, the G80. We just started sales yeah. um, a week ago. Uh -huh. And uh, where else is launching in? Uh, and other then markets? we'll launch in other markets like Saudi Arabia and uh, China initially. Eventually, all of the markets where there are significant luxury cars sold. Well, congratulations again. Thank you so uh, much, Thank you Javier. for having us here in British Columbia. We really enjoyed the, the trip. Thank you for the information. And uh, we're going to keep uh, driving the car here. The, we started the day really rainy and like cloudy. Yeah, and now it turned out but beautiful. But it's beautiful blue, so, right? Yeah, we're going to... Keep enjoying here the beautiful roads here in British Columbia. Absolutely. What a great place. Thank you again. Thank you.